Kelly led out by their captain, Chris Stokes. Just recapping the team news for you. Four changes from the side that lost to our both. In comes Lee Hodson, Dylan McGowan, Chris Burke and Ollie Shaw. And the players dropping out, Ash Taylor through injury. Jason Naismith, Dylan Tate and Danny Mackay are on the bench. Air United, led by their captain, Sean McGinty. And it's the same starting lineup that featured against Dunfermline. It's Shaw taking it forward. Burke is onside, he has Murray in the middle. Burke with it to Fraser Murray, steadies himself on his left foot, scores! Kilmarnock are in front, bang on seven minutes here at Rugby Park. And it's Fraser Murray once again for Killy. Great breaking play involving Shaw and Burke spotting Fraser Murray free in that left hand side, cutting in, taking the composed touch. And the Killy fans are singing. That was great play there, John. Uh, great time of the pass with Ollie Shaw. It was fantastic. And then Burke, his final pass was excellent. A great finish with the boy Murray. I think it's important. Boy Burke's very important. He's going to supply crosses to the right-hand side. And he's just delivered a nice weighted pass across the face of the goal there for Murray just to step on here, John. And the home support are right behind the team. Leading by a goal to nil, there's a tangle over that far side, and other players are stepping in as well. Bobby Madden is just going over to try and calm it down. Lafferty went to see what was going on, and now Bobby Madden has some work to be done. Hesitation, or oh, is it a ploy? Swung in, Muirhead's on the move. It's swacked in there and flicked in, and it's an equaliser for Air United. It's 1 1 with 14 minutes played. Killy caught out at the set piece, and maybe it'll be James Maxwell who got the little flick there as it was drilled back in. And it was Maxwell who got the touch. And now Zach Hemi will have to send this one home. Lafferty controlled by Shaw has Murray outside him. Molly Shaw reverses it. Fraser Murray into Lafferty. A little flick in is saved by the goalkeeper and turned away off the line by Reading. Good play, John. Good play with uh, Oli Shaw and he just drew the defender, put such a nice ball to Murray, put a nice weighted cross in. A little flick and I think it came off Rory McKenzie in the oh. central oh. area as well. But Kelly have the corner. I think it was big Lafferty, Lafferty flicked it, John. Yeah, and then I think it came off Mackenzie as well. Right, right. It's knocked in low. It will break this time. Will it spin in? No, it won't. It's palmed round the post by Aidan McAdams. Lafferty was in there again. Now, Hunstrom. Fraser Murray. He's getting his jersey pulled. He's digged Great it ball. in, there's a header, oh, saved by McAdams. Oh, Kyle Lafferty, so close to putting Kilmarnock in front, but McAdams with another fine save. Great cross, John, back post, and uh, I thought that uh, Wee Burke was going to follow up for the rebound there, but it just fell to the wrong side of him. Campbell's header goes astray, it's Maxwell. Trying to dink it across, looking for McEnroy on the angle, behind him is Reading. Patrick Redding drives it in and scores! And Air United have taken the leads in the 80th minute. Patrick Redding on the score sheet for the second time this season. They're away to celebrate in front of the supporters. Not what Kelly were looking for. I think it was a fantastic goal for Air United, John. It's a great ball with outside his suit to the back post. The boy just lays it off to the full bat and he smashes it into the far post. Mackenzie finds Tate and he's robbed by McEnroy. It could be two on one here. Steel it's man, a Steel. little touch to Adeloy and he's knocked it wide. What a let off for Killick. The substitute with a glorious opportunity to give Air United a two goal advantage. 
Kelly pushing to get themselves forward. And the referee blows the full-time whistle and it's victory for Air United. Another disappointing result at home for Kelly. While Air pick up their first league win in the derby since 1992. Kelly have now lost five league matches at home this season out of 11 played it's another dent to Kelly's title chances they've picked up only one win in the last four league matches